Hello and welcome to another video from the only channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it and today I'm picking fruit. The big deal about that is every video I've ever made about my fruit trees I've always explained that I never get enough fruit for the uh, raccoons and squirrels and birds and chickens to be willing to share with me. But this year is different. Finally I'm picking figs. I've been picking about a quart of figs off of my trees uh, every day for a week now and I'm still out here picking and I think I actually could pick twice as much as this if I was willing to climb on the roof but my house has a metal roof it's very slippery and it's very steep and also I believe the reason that the birds have left me so many of these figs is because they're eating the figs that are above the roof and they don't have to come down here by by me and the chickens to eat figs. But that's about two quarts and, and we came out earlier and picked a quart and ate it. So this really would be three quarts today if it wasn't for us already eating a quart. Now something that I've also got to mention is that in, in a previous video about two years ago I talked about how all of the fig trees I planted close to the house were doing good but all of the fig trees away from the house were not doing good. Well, I've planted fig trees next oh. to power poles and I've planted them next to the greenhouse. I've planted them next to the chicken house. And it seems like anywhere there's a structure that the roots can go under, they seem to just do a whole lot better. I had a bunch of them out in the middle of the yard that got so sickly that they eventually just died. And I was talking about those two years ago and someone left a comment that because I don't take care of my lawn and I don't clear the weeds out from around my fig trees, I don't fertilize my fig trees, that's just the way they do. And people like me don't deserve to have trees if I'm not willing to take care of them. This fig tree is not in a lawn. And those fig trees over there are not in a lawn. They are completely surrounded by weeds. And I don't see the weeds as doing any kind of damage to them whatsoever. I mean, this, this little tree here, I mean, look at this. This thing is loaded with figs. I'll be able to pick figs off of this thing for the rest of my life, probably. I'm not cutting grass around that. This is what's left of the fig tree that uh, is away from the house. And I said when I uh, did a video a couple of years ago that this fig tree was doing very poorly because it wasn't by the house. I was told that it's doing poorly because I don't have, I don't weed around it. But you've already seen uh, the weeds around the other one, and it's not doing like this. Here's another one. It's just barely hanging on. I would transplant this tree, but when a tree is this sick, it won't survive tr being transplanted. Look, he's even got a fig on him. Got a few on there. You might, maybe it'll live, but I doubt it. It's really sick looking. I know you can't see it because of all these sticker bushes, but that's a blueberry bush right there. And that's the top of it. Now I planted this along with 66 other shoots that came out of my neighbors, but he dug them all up and left them in the back of his truck for two days before I found them and planted them. So out of 66, this is the only one that survived. We've never really gotten any blueberries because the birds get all of these, but they're just uh, probably way too young yet but that's a blueberry right there and those stickers that's a blueberry bush and that's a blueberry bush as you can see they had berries but the birds did get them that's a blueberry bush and i've actually got about close to 100 blueberry bushes on my property and they all look about like this but we're about to go to my mom's house and uh, look at some blueberry bushes she's got that are about 10 years older than this Here's a quick lesson about how to pick blueberries. It's very small. It's not like picking a grapefruit. A grapefruit, you fill a gallon bucket up in about one second because three grapefruits will do that. But with blueberries, it takes a lot of them. So you figure how long would it take to pick enough blueberries to fill a gallon? Well, it doesn't take very long at all. Just grab them like that. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I picked a half gallon of these yesterday. This is my mom's.
These are some of the blueberries that we picked a couple of days ago. And they're just as good after they've been in the fridge a while as they are when you pick them off the tree. But it's fun to pick them off the tree and eat them. Anyway, I'll be doing this with my blueberries one day. Just got to be patient. Hopefully the next video I make, I'll be picking these. I don't know if you, if you can see them. Those are Japanese persimmons. And even if I don't get any Japanese persimmons this year, I know that if I just wait, eventually these trees will produce more Japanese persimmons than the wildlife can keep up with. And they'll leave some for me. Just got to be patient. If you don't want to survive, don't listen to me.